In 3D printing, we add supports to ensure the stability of the print model. But after removal of these supports, there can be many surface defects left behind, marring the finish of the model. The traditional way to repair these defects is to draw some resin with a syringe, inject it into the defects, and then cure it with either sunlight or a UV lamp. However, it is very difficult for beginners to control the release of resin from the syringe. Manual repair is time-consuming. It is difficult to get the desired effect, and you could accidentally ruin the whole print. After experiencing various levels of success in repairing models, we decided to develop a professional product for resin model repair, the Fixer. The Fixer will control the amount of resin extruded accurately via programmable syringe pump. Tiny resin drops of the proper size will be injected into the defect area. If you inject too much resin, you can use the fixer to suck resin back into the syringe. After you have the right amount of resin injected, you can cure it immediately afterward using the integrated UV LED light. The long life UV LED light has a tightly focused beam to ensure rapid curing of the resin. How does it work? The fixer uses a micro step motor and a replaceable syringe to release the desired amount of resin, either by individual drops or a continuous stream. The three buttons on the body control the movement of the syringe and activation of the UV light. Besides repairs, the fixer can also be used as a glue tool so you could print a large object in multiple pieces and glue them together using the fixer. Other possible applications for the fixer include 1. Insulate, fix electronic components on a circuit board. 2. High precision extrusion head for a DIY 3D printer project. 3. Programmable mini syringe pump for other liquid materials. The applications are limitless because the Fixer firmware is open source, so you can easily customize it according to your needs. There are four predefined injection speeds through the switches inside the Fixer. You can also customize the injection speed, curing time, or the operating sequence by modifying the open source firmware. The fixer is very compact and can be held and operated comfortably with a single hand. Every single mechanical piece of the fixer is manufactured by high precision CNC machines using materials with the highest quality and durability. It is cordless and powered by a lithium ion battery that is USB chargeable. Included with the fixer is a kit containing syringe needles of various diameters as well as an assortment of sanding paper to help you get the best finished quality. Tired of countless repair failures, excess resin spills, and general unhappiness with the whole repair process? Try the fixer and you will see how it can make the repair process easier and help you improve the quality of your models. Hi, I'm Peter. I'm one of the co-founders of Flex3D. The Flex3D build plate was designed to solve many of the problems with standard 3D printing. We designed the Flex3D build plate so it bends, so the parts come off super easy and you never cut yourself with a blade, you won't hurt your fingers. It's much safer than any other 3D printing plate currently on the market. We also designed the plate so it has a texture, so your prints will always stick. You'll never buy blue tape again, I promise. Lastly, we also created a rapid change system so it speeds your workflow up so you can easily and rapidly change the plates out and your prints to start a new job. In fact, I printed all of this here in one week. Last year, we launched a successful Kickstarter campaign to make 3D printing easier. We have shipped more than 400 plates to all 50 states and over 37 countries. These build plates have a proven success record. And now a word from our other co-founder, Victor Jandl, coming from Stockholm, Sweden. Hey, Victor. How's Stockholm? Hey, Kickstarter. I'm Victor Jandl, the co-creator of Flex3D. Flex3D is made of an impact-resistant thermoset that's built to last. We have used ours for over a year, and it keeps on going. How about ABS, nylon, linear flex, or outer composites? Our community of over 400 users around the world have tried it all, and Flex3D just works. Are you using a heated bed? That's not a problem either. 
It has done set it over 100 Fahrenheit. Our product works so well, so middle schools, high schools and universities across the US are using it to make 3D printing easier and safer. And now we're back with many more options and sizes, including plates for the Delta printer, the Flash Forge, and new universal sizes based on our research. We also are offering our most popular sizes again. All of these come with two plates and a frame. And we are introducing Flex 3D Simple, which is just a single build plate that attaches to your printer with provided binder clips. It is the easiest way to get the Flex 3D experience and is available in all sizes. We at Flex 3D passionate about making 3D printing easier, safer and better. We want to thank past and future supporters. We also want you to back us, of course, and share it with your friends and family. Thank you, Kickstarter. Many people already have experienced the following problems in 3D printing. The first layer of filament does not stick to the build plate. The filament makes a small popping, cracking, or hissing sound while printing. Or the print fails during the printing process, or the final prints have numerous defects. When these problems happen, time and printing material is wasted to figure out what's wrong with the printer. All of these problems may have a common cause. Moisture buildup in the filament. Every 3D printing filament comes with an airtight package. Why? Because almost all of the filaments are hygroscopic, which means the filament absorbs moisture in the air readily. There are many ways for a filament to get wet. 1. The filament is wet when it arrives. 2. The filament absorbs moisture during printing hours. 3. The filament is left exposed to air after printing. 4. The airtight box is opened regularly. Or 5. The resealable bag is 100% airtight. If there is too much moisture absorbed into the filament, then the filament will become unprintable. When moisture is absorbed into filaments, the water molecules are attached to the polymer's molecular filament chains, forming a strong intermolecular bond. This bond is what makes drying the filament difficult. The desiccant packs used inside a filament packet are not strong enough to break the intermolecular bond and pull the moisture out of the filament. Instead, the desiccant packs help to prevent water content in a filament from being skyrocketed by the moisture in the air rather than reducing it. So what can we do to a wet filament? Throw it away? No. How about dry it? But how? After many years of having a moisture problem for in-house 3D printing and many attempts to solve it, we have finally come up with a powerful solution, the print dry filament dryer. A print dry unit can be used to dry the filament and feed the filament into a 3D printer at the same time. The print dry filament dryer is designed based on the following principles. Drying temperature, moisture concentration differential, drying time, and airflow. Inside a print dry unit, a moist filament is surrounded by a very dry air. This encourages the water molecules to diffuse into the air once they reach the filament's surface. As the filament is heated up in a print dry unit, the molecules inside the filament move more vigorously. This weakens and breaks the intermolecular bonds and allows the water molecules to travel towards the surface and diffuse into the surrounding air filaments do not dry instantly. It takes time for heat to penetrate and distribute throughout the filament's interior, more so for those that are deeply buried inside of the spool. Secondly, it takes time for the newly freed water molecules to diffuse to the surface of the filament. The airflow carries the heat to the filament and also carries water molecules away. The print dry filament dryer is very easy to use. To dry the filament, simply place your filament to the dryer to the proper drying temperature and turn the dryer on. Multiple filaments and desk packs can be dried at the same time. To dry and feed a filament, a print dry unit can be used to both dry a filament as well as feed it into a 3D printer while the 3D printer is printing your project. A total of two spools of filament can be dried and fed at the same time. This is especially useful for dual head 3D printers or two printers. Both 1.75mm and 3.0mm filaments can be used. 
For more effective drying, we recommend our open concept dryer friendly spool. The following are some pictures of 3D prints using moist filaments and dry filaments. Print dry filament dryers can make a big difference in the quality of your product. It improves the printability and reduces the number of failed prints. It helps to obtain high quality prints and enhance inner layer adhesion, as well as reducing the frequency of nozzle jams. The print dry filament dryer has been undergoing testing for almost a year now and we have put in a lot of time and effort to reach this stage. It always helps to dry filament and reduce the possibility of a moisture related problem. Now it is time for you to help us to bring this project to life. Thank you for watching. Hi, I'm Phil Newman, co-founder of Retouch 3D. Until you own a 3D printer, what you don't realize is that removing supports and getting rid of printing errors really sucks. We figured that if heat created a 3D print, then heat was the best way to clean it up. The world's first heated tool for cleaning up 3D prints, with variable heat control and interchangeable heads designed for specific 3D retouching tasks. When designing Retouch 3D, we knew we wanted to make a product that was easy to handle, aesthetically pleasing, and something that complemented your 3D workspace. Our final ergonomic handheld design combines comfort and precision, allowing users to hold the tool in different hand positions for finishing 3D printed models. You spend hours modeling your 3D designs and yet many 3D printers leave your prints looking scrappy and unfinished. One of the biggest frustrations is the hours spent cleaning up your 3D prints to create a perfect model. Well, those days are over. Introducing the Retouch 3D. Retouch 3D is the world's first speciality heated tool designed to clean up 3D printed models. Hi, I'm Phil Newman, co-founder of Retouch 3D. Until you own a 3D printer, what you don't realize is that removing supports and getting rid of printing errors really sucks. We figured that if heat created a 3D print, then heat was the best way to clean it up. So, after experimenting with soldering irons, heated wax tools, blow torches, powered grinders and other scary equipment, we arrived at the Retouch 3D, the world's first heated tool for cleaning up 3D prints, with variable heat control and interchangeable heads designed for specific 3D retouching tasks. It's time to finish the job properly. Retouch 3D makes cleaning up 3D prints fun and easy. Simply power on the tool, input your selected temperature level, and in no time get ready to remove all the unwanted material from your 3D print, like a hot knife through butter. In the last few years, there have been a wave of great low-cost 3D printers that are easy, affordable, and accessible but they're limited to only being able to print in one color or material. So we questioned and said, how can we take this to the next level? How can we bring 3D printing to a point where we can print objects that are much more representative of the ideas we're trying to communicate? So we created the palette. From elegant home projects to highly complex prototypes complete with electrical connectivity, the palette enables your printer to create objects that used to be in the domain of much more expensive machines. What the palette lets you do is turn your single color 3D printer into a multi-color and multi-property printer. At Mosaic, we've come up with our own unique solution. It takes in four different types of filaments, and it actually joins them together, end to end, into one single filament strand that has perfectly calibrated lengths of each different filament. This approach enables controllable multi-color functionality from a single extruder, the extruder already on your 3D printer. At first, it was all about color, and that was really exciting to us. But then with this new influx of materials that hit the market, like electrically conductive filament, 
all of a sudden we're now able to upgrade a printer to print something like a flashlight or embedded circuitry. And that's just now. There are new filaments becoming available all the time, from magnetic to stainless steel infused, and by combining these filaments with the palette, a whole new range of functional parts can be printed. One of the big things we focused on since day one was no modifications as well as cross-platform compatibility. You put the palette next to your printer, run the filament through the measurement system, feed it into your printer, and then hit print. The software that you already use, the CAD programs, they can all export multiple SDLs. You slice these with your favorite slicer, run the output through our app, and you're ready to print. We're going open source firmware and software because although we're covering all of the nice to haves and need to haves with this product, we know that there's so many exciting applications and things that people have already been telling us about that they want to do, and so by opening up the software and firmware component, they can do it themselves. We've been working on the palette for a year now. We've gone from ideas on a whiteboard to a finalized prototype. We've sourced our suppliers, but now we need the dollars to bring the palette into production. There's no question that Kickstarter is the way. It's a great forum to be able to work with the community and engage and understand and share. By backing this campaign, you're skipping the upgrade cycle of buying a next-gen printer and getting more out of the machine that you have today. You get to make the palette a reality and you get an amazing product before anybody else gets their hands on it.